for these things to actually happen and um, be sustained, I think it needs to be more um, systemic uh, in its approach. So it really needs to become like pervasive throughout the system and the institutions. I, trying to bring everyone into the circle, that, that takes work. Being an ally is like, yeah, that's great. I support you fully, but like being an ally ship is like, okay, what can I do to help you succeed in whatever issue that you'd like to succeed in? What's the easy conversation around reconciliation? What's the um, easy conversation around gender fluidity? And then what's the one that we need to have? What's, and let's just go there. Sticking out of your um, bubble and start speaking to people that are different from you because then you start to get to know who the person really is instead of the culture that you associate them with. Learning the vocabulary, learning this new language that empowers people to actually like take place and take part in these movements. When you're talking about things like budget and finances, people tend to tune out because it's really boring. Um, I think what you have to do is you have to make it relatable. Those voices that are being heard need to go back and communicate with their communities. Quand il y a des personnes finalement qui ont des opinions divergentes, c'est important d'être conscient de cette opinion-là et que cette opinion fasse partie du discours. On peut pas juste décider de le mettre de côté parce que ça rentre pas dans notre cadre. I think it's we can go, go back to Gandhi and be the be the change you want to see in the world. I can inspire a lot of people because now we're in a, an age of social media, and so if people can see what I'm doing and that I'm <clears throat> trying to create social change, and it really is due to individual choice and individual action.